And finally, New Rule Americans have to make a list of all the reasons we've heard over the years why young men with guns use them in mass shootings. Things like violent video games, poor mental health care, bad parents, Marilyn Manson, lack of prayer in school, Prozac, bullying, and that time the president got blown and didn't go to jail. <laughs> and then we have to get real about what it really is. They can't get laid. Yes, they may have been on Prozac because they were feeling blue, but do you know what else was feeling blue? Their balls. <laughs> now, as the details emerge about our latest American massacre this month at an Oregon college, the least surprising thing was that the shooter wrote a manifesto and said he was going to die girlfriendless and a virgin. On a dating site called Spiritual Singles he was on, he described himself as a conservative Republican who lives with his parents. And swipe left. <laughs> the shooter at the UC Santa Barbara tragedy last year left us with these words. I've been forced to endure an existence of unfulfilled desires, all because girls have never been attracted to me, I've never even kissed a girl, and I will punish you all for it. Which is either a cry for help or the worst eHarmony profile I've ever heard. <laughs> the Virginia Tech shooter was accused of following and harassing female students. Timothy McVeigh famously never had a date and almost certainly died a virgin. The Sandy Hook killer left a document on his computer explaining, quote, why females are inherently selfish. Yes, plainly because they won't give it up to a real catch like that. <laughs> this is a pattern no one is talking about. Mass killers are almost always male and almost always women repellent. And what must make it even worse for them is America. Yeah, because if you live in America, it just looks like everyone is getting laid all the time. Every corner of social media is full of bragging studs and sexy selfies. Every other line in every sitcom is sexual innuendo. Every billboard, pop-up, movie, Carl's Jr. ads are practically softcore porn. <laughs> a model deep-throating a hamburger? Right, like models eat. <laughs> How can you not be thinking of sex all the time when advertising looks like this in America? Burger King ran this ad with a woman who looks just like an inflatable doll opening her mouth to accommodate a new menu item called the Super 7 Incher. With the big letters, it'll blow your mind away. I don't, I don't know for a fact that no man in history has ever said, sex, 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 that's all I ever do. Where's my gun? I'm mad at the world. I just know it's true. Unrealized.